Welcome, welcome uh, to the uh, Sunset Safari from Kenya. We've got a wonderful little herd of elephants behind me. My name is Brent Yersmith, and for the first time from Kenya, Dangerous Dave, the objectified dish. There we go, the only thing better looking than the Maasai Mara, Dangerous Dave. Of course, I'm already joking. Uh, we've got a wonderful little herd of elephants here. Remember, if you want to ask us any questions, hashtag Safari Live, and the light is just to die for out here. So a little family group. There are quite a few eddies spread out around this area. Now, we actually weren't looking for elephants at all. Uh, we were looking for the Angama Pride that are somewhere around here. And uh, I think they're not too far away. Probably sleeping in the shade of one of these trees. But the, the light was just so beautiful. Uh, I, oh, shaking its head. Look at this little guy here. There we go. Right next to the little road. Having a good, a good old, good old time. Now, the elephants here, of course, eat a lot more grass than trees. So their dung is slightly darker in colour. It's not as reddish as the ones as you get in the Sabi sands. Uh, and it's, of course, because of the high amount of starch and sugars they're getting from this lush grassland. Now, the only time... Ooh, 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 Dave, 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 birders, Dave. Oh, this is going to be quite difficult, but I think this is definitely a new bird species for everyone. A black kukul. Um, okay, Dave. Oh, this is now without a monitor. This is quite challenging. Um, I'm going to jump around to the other side so I can have a look at your screen where you're pointing. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go basically over this little Eddie's head. Yep. And in the grass there, it might. I don't know if you can see him now. On the ground, yeah. Might be just in the grass. Has it gone? Has it disappeared? Uh, we'll have to. We'll try to get a bit closer. Um, but so we're sorry we're so late today, but we've been dodging the rainstorms. So literally, we've had to try and drive in and around rainstorms, and it's finished raining. And you can see how beautifully clear and sunny it is now. And you can see how these eddies are all using their feet to help the trunk get those luscious grasses. Sorry, Dave. It is absolutely spectacular. Every single time I come down the mountain, I'm blown away by something. Could be the light, it could be the trees. Well, speaking of trees, I suppose we should do start the, the Kenya Nearly Impossible Tree Quiz. Now, this could be a little bit unfair, so I'm not going to start it yet. I'm going to teach you a few of the trees before we do that. But uh, there's two very big quinine trees. So you can extract quinine from them. And of course, quinine is used for malaria treatment. So there we go, quinine trees. There we go, Dave zooming in the leaves. So you see, yes, if any of you know what a mango tree looks like, sometimes the leaves look a little bit similar, but they're probably a bit thinner and a bit longer. And, and a very sort of light colored bark. And as you can see, the leaves can be very varied in color from quite dark green in the back tree to quite light and yellow in the front tree. Oh, Dave, look down into the swamp. There's lots of eddies there, but there's also a big flock of egrets around. How does it look? Mm, very swampy. Very swampy. Now, Shelly, oh, hang on. Um, Shelly is wondering, with little trees around, what do the... That's a lion. There's a lion. <laughs> I, I was like, what is that thing on top of the termite mound? It is a very lazy looking lion. I knew they were around here somewhere. Now we are in the swampy, swampy area, so we've got to be careful, and there's no off-roading in this area. But we will try to get a bit closer. I think there's a road that runs down towards that termite mount. Um, but there we go. There's a lion. And uh, lioness, it looks like. Sorry, Shelly, I got totally sidetracked by a lion. Um, so Shelly, Shelly's wondering, what do the elephants eat when the grass goes and dies? Well, unlike... Uh, the southern Africa, maybe we've got two rainy seasons here, so it's unlikely that all the grass will be gone. But what does happen is over a million and a half animals, Thompson's gazelle, zebra and wildebeest arrive, 
Oh dear, we're going to have a phone call shortly. I lost comms with South Africa, so if you hear a phone ringing, you do apologize, but that's how we're communicating. Um, so as I was saying, so th what happens is they arrive and they munch the grass very, very short. And when that happens, the elephants move up into the escarpment and to the acacia forests down south. Um, so there are trees for them to, to, to move, and they really don't like it when the wildebeest are here. So they, they tend to move off, and we don't, when the migration is around, you don't see as many elephants. It's just too beautiful. Oh, look at all the egrets in the tree, Dave. Mm. In the tree. So I'm going to jump across in front again. Hi. We're back. I'm just saying hello to Final Control. They're back with me. They're mostly cattle egrets. Yeah, just, just to the left of the eddies up in the tree there. Now, I'm going to try to get us a bit closer to that lion. Uh, I think it could. it's definitely one of the Angama females. Hi, Darlene. Darlene's wondering what language other than English is spoken in Kenya. Well, there are quite a lot of different different languages. Of course, there's Ma, which is Maasai, uh, but the most widely spoken language in Kenya is Kiswahili. Now, Kiswahili is a very interesting language. It's a trade language, um, and it's made up of about 20% Arabic, 80% Bantu languages, and uh, it, it is even spoken all the way in India, in Goa. So the, uh, the, the trade routes from the Arab dials have been running for many thousands of years. And uh, so Kiswahili is a combination of that. So it is, it is spoken throughout Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, even a little bit in Rwanda. And, but it is, yes, it is a very, very interesting language. It's made up of lots of different things. Uh, but of course then there's Kikuyu, there's Samburu, um, uh, there's lots of other dialects as well. Oh, look at this bull coming across in front of us here. Hello, big boy. Okay, well, I try to get us a bit closer to the lions. Let's go across to more elephants with Tristan at Chitwa Chitwa.